Is there anything else uh, that needs to be dealt with today? Just the engineer's report. You kind of visited with him about that already. What any action? He's going to. They're. They have 52 applications for the opening, and this week they hope to start interviewing them. Um, What did he say about the detour? I, you were asking him about it. It's not really the detour, but it's a road of choice, and they're going to monitor it. Watching it. It'll take extra grading and aggregate. Uh, Whose liability is it when they, the farmer tracks all this blood and stuff onto the roads? As far as to getting it back off, I'm not going to the horses. So. I, I, know, I know in the past they they have uh, they've contacted those that have, have made that. I, I remember Mike I talking remember about. I remember way back yeah. that they did it, but I think they even charged the farmers. They had the lot of them, but yeah. do they do that anymore? I assume yeah, they do. I, I didn't know. I was asked that the other day, and I yeah. wasn't sure. Sometimes you know, like Randy draws, they get out and mm -hmm. with the loader and, and try and get some of it off, mm -hmm. you know, like that. But it's kind of up to Mike. It's his call, and uh, and he, you know, I've gotten bills before uh, for damage I did to a gravel road. We drug something and left a, a groove in the road. And he had a radar come out and radar. Well, I know, I don't know. I think they, you know, I think they try and move, you know, this year's been an unusual year. Yeah. Right. You know, it's not only for the Semis parking on the road, grain carts coming out, or wagons just. I mean, it's yeah. quite common. It's just a, I mean, do we I have a civil responsibility on that? If, say, some car goes along about 50, yeah. 60 miles an hour and hits one of those spots, it's 100% mud, goes off and crashes, it's a county level or it's a farm well, only level? If, only if we've been notified and, and there's determined that, that we didn't take care of it. I, I mean, I think. That wouldn't apply until we've been notified, and then we did not take care of it. If if we take care of it, and there's not a, uh, any kind of negligence uh, applying, then no, we wouldn't have any. If if we did not follow through after we had been told, then that's another matter. But it, yeah, this this fall has been an uh, extra extra bad. Yeah. Yeah. Just and actually, it's um, you'll you'll see some of that, but it's I I thought it might even be worse, uh, just just because of the mud. Well, I know from the roads that I've traveled on, when it is there, it's there one day and the next day it's pretty well cleared off. So somebody is, and I have never seen anybody do it very clear. But uh, I know some of the roads. Have been been cleaned off within within a day. I, I, I do know Mike has talked about saying that they if they see it they'll, they'll notify somebody to take care of it. If they don't take care of it then they they do and they bill for it. Road north of you when they were cleaning all those confinements they really tracked on but it was only there that day and the next day pretty well all gone. And it had been removed otherwise it had been bumpy you know. Down. Somebody cleaned it off. I move to adjourn. I'll second that. Motion's been made and second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 We stand adjourned. Have a good Thanksgiving, you guys. Yeah.